we uh, took a, a reel and we reeled out a line and then swam along the line surveying and counting the number and species of fish that we found, marking it onto a slate. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah. Possibly the best I've ever had at the spot. Lovely position. Excellent biz, maybe 12 meters, possibly more. Monitoring in the marine environment is very expensive because you need dive gear, you need boats, and so on and so forth. And um, therefore, it is good if you can use volunteers because they're basically paying, paying their way to do the monitoring themselves. So it's two components. The one can be looked at in exploited areas, where divers basically dive in, in fished areas and uh, report back on, on resource trends. And uh, another part would be uh, divers counting fish in marine protected areas, because here we have a stable fish community. And um, the trends we observe here will just be influenced by climate change. So they are basically separated from the anthropogenic influence. In terms of, uh, of ability, um, they generally start off not knowing too much um, in terms of the names of all the different species. I think quite a few of them recognize them and they've seen them on their dives, but they don't actually know what they are. Um, they very quickly pick up the names, um, so within a two-day course, you, you, they move from a, about a 50% pass rate to getting over the average over 80% for the tests. Your float speed. So as if you're doing a fish count, as you get into line with your floats, you yeah. estimate. Cool. Um, should we get down and then let go? I love it. Um, I love being meticulous about things. So I love that side of it. Um, and I don't think it's scientific. <laughs> it's counting fish. It's data collecting. So it's not formulaic in any way. So yeah, it's fine. In, in terms of comparing how many volunteers that are doing recreational diving um, versus how many people might be doing this professionally, it, it makes a lot of sense um, that offering an incentive or two to make it slightly worth our while, but most volunteers would be doing this anyway, so um, it's really just piggy, piggybacking off people's intention to go diving, which makes a lot of sense to me. <laughs> Not eight meters, eight. Okay, again, you are. Um, and then they do simultaneous counts where we're both um, divers count the same fish populations or along the same transect. Um, and so they should be seeing the same, the same groups of fish. Um, and then the differences between what each of them see would give us an idea of the precision of the data. And then from there, we can plot how that precision improves with increased experience. Um, and then figure out how many training dives each diver will need, um, or the average diver will need, before we can start including their data into the database.